World is going crazy over energy. Everyone is scrambling to turn renewable. In this video, we will look into who is leading the change. This is your host Otis and you're watching Sustainable Truth. Let's get into the video. I would like to begin by saying that this is a reflection of what's going on around the world, not saying that one country is better than the other. We have to take into consideration the geography and available resources. For example, Norway has a lot of hydropower sources and has invested heavily in the past, allowing them to almost completely ditch coal and other fossil fuels, whereas countries like Iceland can lean heavily on geothermal sources to provide a decent baseload. Other places like France depend largely on nuclear energy, which can be debated to be either good or bad, but statistically speaking, it is more safe than coal and gas, or even surprisingly wind for example. For other countries, solar and wind are one of the the main possibilities to use which poses its own challenges, such as availability during calm days and dark nights. Most are trying to remedy these with storage facilities such as hydro storage and battery storage. This poses unique challenges as battery storage is still expensive, even though costs are declining predictably. At this moment, with all the car electrification, we are also battery constrained to move quickly, whereas hydro storage is very capital intensive and takes a long time to build also. And on top of that, it has to be a geographically feasible location. With this being said, let's look at the latest developments around the world. South Australia is by far the leader in Australia's energy transition. In just over 15 years, the state has transformed its energy system from heavy coal and natural gas reliance to zero coal and more than 60% renewable electricity, supported by battery storage as well as gas. In 2021, South Australia generated 63% of its electricity from wind and solar power, supported by 22 wind farms, 4 solar farms, 4 grid-scale batteries, 2 world-leading home battery schemes, and more than 10 virtual power plants. During nearly half of the days of 2021, renewable energy resources met 100% of the state's operational demand, bringing South Australia well ahead of its target for 100% net renewables by 2030. Iceland is currently running on 100% renewable energy. It gets 75% of the electricity from hydropower and 25% from geothermal country then takes advantage of its volcanic activity to access geothermal energy, with 80% of its hot water and heating coming from this source. For comparison, Iceland's population is 376,000 only. Greece was powered entirely by renewables for the first time ever last week, according to the country's independent power transmission operator. Although Greece is nowhere near being 100% renewable yet, they have made massive changes to ditch coal in the last years. Based on power transmission operator, electricity from renewables in Greece hit an all-time record, covering 100% of electricity demand for 5 hours on October 7, 2022. Now for a bit of context, population of Greece is around 10.3 million. This obviously does not mean that the country is fully sustaining its grid with renewables 24-7, but it's a milestone nonetheless. Greece does have some hydro generation, but nowhere near what countries like Iceland or Norway has. Therefore, it's harder for them to replace the base load electricity. In Norway, 98% of electricity production comes from renewable energy sources. Hydropower dwarfs all the other production sources, so much so that Norway even exports some of its energy to different countries. Norway has around 5.5 million people. The country has a massive advantage with their early investments into hydropower. The US state of Hawaii has experienced rapid uptake of renewables in recent years, with some islands producing up to 300% of their local electricity demand from solar and wind power. Hawaii has recently received its last coal shipment, around the same time as receiving Tesla's Megapack storage units to be added to the grid. Population of Hawaii is around 1.4 million. United States renewable energy holds the fastest growing energy source status, with an increase of 42% from 2010 to 2020, or 90% from 2000 to 2020. 
Renewable energy sources constitute almost 20% of the country's electricity generation, 7.3% of which came from hydropower and 8.4% from wind power. Meanwhile, solar energy contributed to 3.3% of US electricity generation in the same year. In total, an additional 256 gigawatts of renewable power capacity was introduced in 2020 in the US. Population of United States is roughly 332 million. Another point to touch on is that with all this investment in renewables recently, government still spends more money in subsidies for the fossil fuel companies. So we are paying for high fuel costs. We are taxed more because inflation is tax and paying income tax. Also paying heavy carbon tax on our cars, depending on location. While oil industry is polluting way more in flaring and spills and still gets subsidies from our taxpayer money. So yes, there is a lot of change happening. But looking at the bigger picture, we are still fighting the wind. Comment down below which other countries should be added to the list. Guys, thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoy, hit like and subscribe. It helps you to promote this content. I want to provide value to as many as I can, so this helps a lot. Any thoughts or feedback would be much appreciated in the comments below. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one.